easy getting that thing down. It's going to be hard to get it back up that. I'm at the river today. I'm going to do some water hunting. Oh, thank the Lord the sun's coming out. The river's really shallow right here. I had to get out my kayak so I can pull it over these little shallow spots. Look how clear the water is today. That's because the sun's shining. Last time I came here it was pouring down rain and it was cloudy and you couldn't you couldn't see in the water too well. It was really murky. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit deeper here, so I may be able to get in my kayak. I have a long way to go. The river turns and it makes a horseshoe bend and it goes all the way around and makes another horseshoe bend. And that's where I'm going to dig. So, let's get to it. This is a beautiful place out here in God's country. Far from any houses. You gotta love it. I bet there's all kinds of stuff in here. I may hunt this on the way back up. Water's only about a foot deep. Very shallow. Looks like it's gonna be a little tiny drop off here. Oh man. I might need to get out and water hunt here as well. Look at all the exposed bedrock. It's hard to paddle with one hand and still record. Let's go down this way right here. I'm working my way back up river. It's extremely shallow today. Too hard to paddle back up. Not enough water. So I'm just dragging my kayak along with me. With all my gear in it. And uh, detecting the whole way back. I got about a mile to go. When it gets too deep, I'll just get in my kayak and paddle up. But hopefully, I'll find something. I have a long stretch of river to hunt here. Guess we'll see. We need some rain. It hasn't rained in forever. Of course, it's good water hunting time, though. I'm out here dredging now. I got a good hole going. I've been at it about three hours and that's bedrock right there, exposed bedrock. And I got a good hole down in here. It's about two and a half feet deep. I'm gonna let y'all take a look at it, see if y'all can see anything. I'm not sure if we have any gold, but if we do, it may be something good. this thing back up. I had to take a break for a minute. Get back to dredging for it storms. Hopefully it won't. They're calling for thunderstorms this evening. Well, we'll it's storming that. really good now. It's thunder and lightning. We gotta get out of here. I'm trying to get the dredge all packed up and get it back in the truck. I got a shovel laying around here too. Here it is. Hold my gear. This river's gonna flood. It's just a matter of time. We were just down there 10 minutes ago. We had to pull the dredge of that. Not here today in the river. Getting ready to do some water hunting. I'm heading to a sandbar today, and uh, I'm hoping we'll find some gold rings and maybe some silver. No telling what we'll get, but a lot of people have been swimming at this place for the last 30 or 40 years, and I don't know if it's ever been detected. But we're going to go out there today and see if we can dig up anything cool. I got my AT Pro with me. Uh, brought some fishing rods. All my gear, my cooler. Uh, rock pick back there, goggles. So I'm ready to get into some relics. 
Not here in the middle now. That's probably 100 feet deep right here. Ain't no telling. Smallest fish of the day. He swallowed that lure, didn't he? I'll unhook him here in a minute. Let him go. I just caught me a nice little bass. He fell off inside my boat here. Let me get him out. That's nice. Sweet. Took about a hour and 30 minutes or so of fishing to get one, but hey, that made my day. Awesome. Let's put him back in the water. There he goes. I've been out here digging for a few hours now and I found a bunch of quarters and clad and stuff like that and I just found this ring. I'm not sure if it's anything good. It may be aluminum or could be platinum. I'm not sure at the moment but it's uh, silverish. On the inside it says INOX316L. Huh. It might be too big for a ring. I mean I had to have a big finger. I mean, maybe a thumb ring. No telling, but looks like a ring to me. We'll see. I'm back at the house, got all my funds laid out. Had a great day today. Here's some of the trash I found, mainly just Corona Extra. Beer caps and other junk. Couple fishing weights in there. Here's the good finds. I dug over three dollars in clad. Uh, Nothing really old. They're all modern pennies. No wheat pennies in there. I think the oldest one's like 69. But uh, I did get this nice little ring. It's actually stainless steel. 316 L stainless. I don't think it's that expensive of a ring though. Maybe like $5 or something. It wouldn't have cost that much I wouldn't think. But uh, somebody could have used that as a wedding ring. No telling. They lost it though. They're probably out there swimming. And uh, here's my quarters. Some of them have a nice patina on them. Look at this one. I thought it was gold when I dug it up. It's got like a gold shine to it. Especially when it's coming out of the water. They look a little bit brighter. I want to give a shout out to my friend Chuck Smith. He's also my brother in Christ. He makes metal detecting videos on YouTube. And I think he has a couple fishing videos as well. But go check him out. His channel is called Southern Fried Relic Hunting. I also want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for this wonderful day I've had out metal detecting and for everything I've found. I have a few Bible verses I'd like to share with y'all if anybody would like to hear. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to still say them anyway. God says in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. So we need to trust in the Lord. We don't need to trust in ourselves. We need to trust in Him and His Word, not in our own understanding. And in all our ways, we should acknowledge Him, and He will make our path straight. I also have another little verse to share with y'all, if y'all don't mind. Uh, it's Mark chapter 8, verse 38. And Jesus says, For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father and with the holy angels. So, we shouldn't be ashamed of Jesus. And we also shouldn't be ashamed to talk about him. I mean, he's our Lord and Savior. We should talk about him everywhere we go. I mean, at school, at work, to our friends, even on our videos. So, I hope you all enjoy that. And I really hope that you all look those up in your Bible and not just trust me. I hope you would trust God and his word. So, thanks for watching. Happy hunting. And God bless.